Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. I know mine is because I get to spend some time with my girl Lucy. We have a busy day, some egg cutting, a whole bunch of other stuff going on later in the vlog. But right now Lucy actually did the reverse what she normally does. Normally she poops in the water. Today she pooped on the land and all over the place and only shed in the water. So she just shed out, looks absolutely wonderful. Looks like a complete shed. I don't see any stuff shed on there. So what I'm gonna do is actually go in, uh, get her out, get her on the ground. We'll mess around with her a little bit because you know I love my girl Lucy, you know what I mean? And, uh, and then we'll have to clean up her cage to get the day started. It's all part of keeping giant snakes. Remember, if you want a giant snake, this is what you're going to have to deal with. Let's see what she looks like right now. Uh, she seems to be in a really, look, I think she seems to be in a good mood. She looks beautiful. Come on, big girl. Come on, sweetie. Woo. There she goes. Just let her run for a second. Get her completely out of her cage. Hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, there's nothing like a little aerobic workout with a 20 foot, couple hundred pounds thing. Oh my God. Oh, oh, no. oh my gosh, she's getting into all kinds of trouble here. I think I'm just gonna play with her just for a few minutes and just kind of admire how amazing she is. And then ultimately, I'm gonna have to put her into a tub to, uh, to keep her occupied so I can get in there and clean her cage. I tell you what, it's not until you get a snake out this long that you realize just how absolutely big she is. I mean, that is one giant snake right there. And she hasn't eaten for the last 10 days, so she's gonna be even bigger when we feed her here in a couple days. Woo, doggy, come on, Lucy. Come on, big girl. Now, the good news is, is because she just peed and pooed in her cage, oh, 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 oh my gosh, she's hard to handle. It's a good chance I'm not gonna get peed on. Again, when she comes out of her cage and she's in a good mood, I'm not gonna lie to you, she's actually a really fun animal to work with. Although very, oh my gosh, she is heavy. But uh, where's she going? Okay. The part I don't like is right down here, which is the, the butt end. That thing, a lot of pee comes out of that end. And Lucy loves to pee on people. Uh oh, hang on a second. Come on, girl. Don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Okay, there she goes. Now she's coming. Good girl. Whew. Tell you what, that can get your heart rate up for sure. She is such a good animal, but she's so strong. She's so motivated when she's moving in a direction. She wants to just move in that direction and nothing else. So, now she seems to have calmed down for a second. Let's go ahead. She's got just a little piece of shed on her head. Let's see if I can get that. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh. Looks like she's just got a little shed right here on her head. Okay. Woo. All right. I might have to deal with that at a later date. What I think I'm gonna do is get her in this container and clean her cage. I've got a buddy of mine in the house. His name is Trevor and he, yeah, Tito is gonna actually help me out get this snake over here. Tommy, have you ever handled a big snake like this? No. Okay, okay let's, do, come on, Tyler, we're gonna do this, let's go. All right, so Lucy is oh looking good. Uh, you go first. You want me to go first. You go first. You're not going first. Go first. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start, but you gotta help me out. All right, Tim, let's go. Tyler. Oh my god! Pick it up, Tino! I'm trying to... Am I Ortiz? <laughs> oh my god! Look, he's bringing the bucket! <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're like a pro, man. You did a great job. I'll tell you what, man. That's, that is some good work right there. Toddy, you did good, man. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, so Lucy's back in her cage. Let's get on to the rest of our day. This is actually a pretty cool collection. There's actually one baby even hatched out. The mom is this beautiful Enchi that's het for albino. And it was bred to this double recessive albino clown ball python. Now, you may remember if you were watching the vlog last year that this is the exact same breeding we had where we had seven eggs, but we had seven albinos. 
And the deal is, is we already have an Enchi Het Clown that's double head for Albino Clown too, right here. So you basically have, you know, Enchi's double head Albino Clown. Uh, so we know we aren't gonna have all Albinos or Enchi Albinos this year. Uh, as a matter of fact, I could see a couple other eggs pipped that look like they're dark as well. So let's see if we'll get any Albinos this year. Remember, we had all Albinos last year, which crushed the odds. This year, uh, we may go the other way. Maybe we'll get all normals. Who knows what it is? But of course, that is an Enchi double head for Albino Clown that's out. Let's jump into egg number one and see we have here we go let's see what we got up, 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 up. well it'll be interesting to see if there's a chance that we won't get albinos this year you know how that works out I mean odds work out that way sometimes but nevertheless saw uh, it look like just a normal double head albino clown to be honest with you let's move on to egg number two egg number two let's see up oh, looks like we got an albino at least hold on one second here guys Hold on one second here. I can see there's one little snake right here, and there's two. These are actually twin albinos. Oh my gosh, there's actually two babies in this egg. I tell you what, it doesn't happen often to have twins, and it certainly doesn't happen often that we can cut and find twins. And they're both albinos too. Sometimes you'll get albinos and normals in the same egg if there's a twin, but these are actually two albino twins. How freaking awesome is that? I can't believe we actually had twins. I mean, gosh, it's been a couple years since I've had twin ball pythons, so it's awesome. Not only do they have twins, but they have albino heifer clown twins. How cool is that? Let's go ahead, I mean, this is awesome, guys. Let's go ahead and cut the rest of this clutch and see what else we have. Maybe we'll have some more twins. Egg number three. Oh, looks like we got another albino here, same thing. And this definitely looks like an albino enchi. You can just tell with the orange right off the rip with this. So this is an albino enchi that is het for clown, which is gonna be cool, because those albino enchi clowns are gonna be absolute rippers. All right, this one's got the egg all cut up, so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of take a look and see what's in here. And this one definitely looks like an enchi that would be double het for albino clown. So uh, a normal Enchi double head albino clown. I love Enchi stuff. The Enchi clown stuff is ridiculous. The albino Enchi clown, even more ridiculous. So we've got four more eggs. Here we go. It looks like there's a dark animal in here right off the rip, so I know it's not albino. And it is just a normal. So this would be a normal, again, double head albino clown. The Enchi gene is incomplete dominant, so you can't get het for it. So when you produce a normal, it has nothing to do with Enchi. Uh, three eggs to go, and the next one is pipped out, so it looks like it's a normalish animal. Let's see if it's an Enchi. Here we go. Is it an Enchi, or is it a normal double head albino clown? Hard to say. Oh, it's definitely an Enchi. So this is another Enchi het for albino clown. So that's pretty awesome. Two eggs to go. Let's see if we get any more albino. There we go, yep, looks like maybe another albino here. Let's see if we can see if it's an albino, albino enchi. And it does look like an albino enchi. So it looks like another albino enchi heifer clown. Again, those are great animals to keep and raise up and breed back and produce more albino enchi clowns. One last egg, let's make it a banger. There we go. All right, all right, looks good, looks good. Looks like an albino for sure. Do we have an albino enchi? Let's see, I would say yes. I'm pretty sure that's an albino entry head for clown. Hard to say until it climbs out. So as it worked out, guys, I mean, it's pretty crazy because we had nine eggs, and on average, half of them should be albino, and we actually had uh, four eggs that had albinos in it, and five eggs that had normals. But because of the twins, we actually had five albinos and five normals, or entries double head for albino clown. Regardless, that was crazy. Twin albino ball pythons in the egg. How cool is that? Of course, Ben and Jerry, the two-headed snake, were supposed to be twins too, actually. When they were in the egg, a little zygote, they were supposed to be twins, and they actually formed into one snake. So uh, in a way, these guys are twins. They are conjoint twins, right? And it's pretty cool because the truth is I haven't hatched that many twins, so it's pretty awesome not only to hatch them, but to actually cut them this time. It's really cool, but nevertheless, Ben and Jerry, amazing, doing well, absolutely incredible. And by the way, Chop 6, the two-headed turtle, will be coming over here to the Reptarium here within the next, hopefully, two weeks. In the dungeon, you know what time it is. Egg time, egg time, egg time. Egg time. And there's not that many ball python clutches left. I mean, we're probably about 15 more. This one is pretty cool. This is a stinger bee, which is an enchi and a spider. And I love that combination because it just really reduces things. It was bred to a pastel enchi yellow belly. So we could get like, you know, super enchi spiders, super enchi bumblebee yellow bellies. I mean, all kinds of cool stuff. Let's see how many eggs she has. Mama does not look happy. It's okay, Mama. It's all right. Woo. 
That's all right. Oh, looks like she's got a nice clutch of eggs here too. Looks like oh, she's hanging on to one little egg over here. Come on. Oh, let's see what we got. Looks like one little slugger over here. I'll pull these eggs out. Get this one egg here. That's definitely a little boob egg right here, but you can see there's some red in there. We'll get her all cleaned up. Good job, mom. You did so good. And again, that red right there just tells me there's a network of veins in there, meaning it's a good egg for sure. So we have two, four, five eggs from her. One little slugger. We have one more clutch to pull. And this next clutch is a banger. This is actually a super lorry pinstripe ball python. I know it's kind of weird because it kind of turns like gray and kind of dark, but it has a super lorry actually bred to a banana extreme gene male, meaning that everything is going to be lorry and there's going to be a bunch of banana stuff. I've been saying I want to get that banana into super lorry so badly and I am super excited that she laid a beautiful clutch egg. This was a girl that, to be honest with you, for the most of the season didn't think she was going to produce. Her follicles kind of stuck at like 20 millimeters, wasn't growing. I thought, ah, she's just going to go backwards and then all of a sudden she popped and she ended up having a beautiful clutch of eggs. Let's go ahead and pull these eggs out. They're not stuck together very well, so we'll go ahead and candle these just to make sure they're okay. But it looks like a gorgeous clutch of eggs right here. Oh my gosh, really beautiful clutch. And again, just kind of get these last couple eggs out right here, put them over here. Mama, you did such a good job. Again, we'll just kind of clean her up, get that egg smell off her and stuff like that and get her back onto food very quickly. She had two, four, six, eight, beautiful eggs. Again, this is that first step to that banana super lorry ball pipe. And again, I don't know how that, that extreme gene is going to mix with the lorry as well. So there could be some really cool babies in here. We'll find out in 57 days. Four baby colubrids are hatching. Let's see what we've got. This is actually, oh, see a really beautiful male. This was that male scaleless motley, but it was actually just bred to a het albino. So it looks like we have a bunch of albinos. We have a bunch of normals. Uh, nothing else really going on. But these guys are all het from motley and heifer scaleless. So I was kind of hoping that maybe we would have some motleys, maybe even some scaleless stuff, but nonetheless, still a bunch of beautiful little corn snakes here that are carrying the genetics for the motley and the scaleless. Uh, just definitely not producing as many scaleless animals as I expected this year, but we still have a lot more eggs to hatch. So nevertheless, a bunch of really cool baby corn snakes. Another corn clutch hatch. This is actually a het strawberry sun kiss. It definitely looks like we have a couple strawberry sun kiss. This is a strawberry sun kiss here and a bunch of other really cool stuff too. We've got, what is it down here? Okay, okay, albinos. This looks like little albino sun kiss right here. Some other sun kiss. Looks like there's even maybe a little bit of diffuse stuff going on in here. Again, with corn snakes, a lot of times when you breed them, there's a lot of other genetics going on, right? Because there's so many mutations in corn snakes. Typically, things are hat, possible hat, all this stuff. So a bunch of cool things hatch out. Like, for instance, this is a snow corn snake right here. And uh, the parents weren't supposed to be hat for snow, but obviously we have snow. And that's kind of how corn snakes go. You produce a bunch of wild stuff. Definitely a bunch of cool little babies that have, again, a lot of cool genetics in them. So how crazy is that? Twin snakes. That is absolutely epic. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, here's a playlist of me cutting a bunch of other eggs. If you guys want to just roll through that, could you do me a favor right up here? Can you subscribe to my podcast channel? Every Wednesday is called Checking In. On this side, you can subscribe to this channel. Please turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.